Welcome, dear viewers, to a captivating journey through time and history as we explore the millennia-old saga of Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem, a place of profound significance to multiple faiths. Join us as we unravel the remarkable story behind this iconic sanctuary. The history of the first Qibla of Muslims, Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem, is a rich and ancient one spanning over 5,000 years. This sacred site is steeped in historical significance and its story is both intriguing and diverse. In this video, we will explore the fascinating history of this remarkable place, the people who built it, and the complex circumstances that have shaped its present state. According to traditions, Al-Aqsa Mosque was initially constructed by the Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, approximately 40 years after the establishment of the Kaaba. It stood as a place of worship for many centuries until the time of Noah, peace be upon him, when it was destroyed during the Great Flood. Subsequently, around 3,000 years before Christ, the Canaanite people, known as the Pews, settled in this region, which eventually became known as Palestine. They inhabited and maintained this sacred land for millennia. The lineage of this mosque's builders continued with the prophet Ibrahim and English Abraham, peace be upon him who, along with his son Ismail, as known Ishmael, peace be upon him, had a role in the construction of the Kaaba. Ibrahim, peace be upon him, with his second son Hazrat Ishaq, as known Isaac, peace be upon him, also contributed to the rebuilding of Al-Aqsa Mosque. This sacred site was then entrusted to Isaac's descendants with Jacob, peace be upon him, as one of the prominent figures among his twelve sons. One of Jacob's sons, Joseph, was not only a prophet but also became the ruler of Egypt. During his rule, the descendants of Jacob, peace be upon him, migrated to Egypt and later during the time of Moses they returned to Palestine. The era of the prophet Dawood, as known David, peace be upon him, marked the beginning of the construction of the Al-Aqsa Mosque, although it remained incomplete during his lifetime. His son Sulaiman, in English Solomon, peace be upon him, took up the task and successfully completed the mosque. The city of Jerusalem faced challenges throughout its history, with various conquerors and rulers impacting the fate of Al-Aqsa Mosque. The Babylonian king Bakht Nasser's invasion in 587 BC resulted in the destruction of the mosque and the exile of many Jews. Subsequent rulers, including the Persians, had their influence on the region. It was during this time that Jesus was born and ultimately crucified. Seventy years after his crucifixion, the Romans attacked Al-Aqsa Mosque, leaving only its four walls intact. Despite these challenges, the sanctity of Al-Aqsa Mosque remained ingrained in the hearts of Muslims. After the death of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the city of Jerusalem was under Christian rule. When the Muslims arrived, a peaceful agreement was reached and Caliph Omar oversaw the reconstruction of the mosque. Subsequently, the Umayyad Caliph Abd al-Malik bin Marwan played a pivotal role in rebuilding and expanding the mosque. He also constructed the iconic golden-domed building known as Ganbad Sugri. The tumultuous history continued with different rulers making their mark on the mosque until the arrival of Sultan Saladin Ayyubi in 1187. He reclaimed Jerusalem from the Crusaders and restored Al-Aqsa Mosque. However, in 1918 the British government took control of Jerusalem, and the subsequent settlement of Jews in the region marked the beginning of ongoing tensions. In 1948, the establishment of the Israeli government in the area led to the complex and enduring conflict we see today. This sacred site is claimed by Jews, Muslims, and Christians, all of whom consider it a place of great religious significance. The dispute over ownership and control has fueled ongoing conflicts and struggles in the region, making it one of the most contentious and historically significant places in the world. In Islamic tradition, Al-Aqsa Mosque is also associated with eschatological beliefs. It is believed that this mosque holds a special place in the events of the end times. It is believed that Al-Aqsa Mosque will play a significant role in the events of the end times, including the return of Jesus, Isa, peace be upon him, and other eschatological events. The disputes and tensions surrounding the ownership and control of Al-Aqsa Mosque, especially in the context of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, are deeply intertwined with these eschatological beliefs. For Jews, the potential construction of the Third Temple holds great significance and for Muslims, the preservation and protection of Al-Aqsa Mosque is of paramount importance in their eschatological expectations. 
The historical significance and the eschatological beliefs associated with Al-Aqsa Mosque make it a focal point of contention and a symbol of enduring struggle in the region, highlighting the complex interplay between history, religion, and geopolitics in the Middle East. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening exploration of Al-Aqsa Mosque's rich history. Your presence and interest in this video are greatly appreciated.